storm hit the area at 4 a.m. Heavy rains and severe winds are ravaging the area. Trees are down, some of the major highways are flooding, and people are being advised to stay home. 6.05 a.m. John knows that he has to call a site closure for Acme's headquarters. John activates an IBM Virtual Workplace Continuity Plan, which automatically sends a message to the VP of Facilities to get authorization to close the Florida sites. John immediately gets the approval and begins the process of broader notifications. Immediately, notifications are sent out to all 537 of the Florida employees via SMS, voicemail, and email. At home, Jane just learned that her young children's school is closed and she needs to stay at home to take care of them. She is about to call her manager to let him know when her phone rings. When she answers it, she receives an automated message advising her of the office closure and asking her to press 1 if she is safe or 2 if she needs assistance. Kenny decides to check on his elderly parents before trying to head to the office. While at his parents, the storm brings down a big tree on his parents' street, blocking the driveway. Kenny knows that as a manager, he has to account for his direct reports. He goes to the driveway and grabs his briefcase from his car. He removes the USB flash drive and headset from the virtual workplace continuity kit that was just distributed to employees at an all-hands meeting prior to hurricane season. Kenny inserts the drive into his parents' four-year-old home PC and logs in. He then brings up the roll call for his team and their direct reports. Everyone is accounted for and has entered their updated emergency contact information. Knowing that John and the rest of the response team can see the same information, Kenny can now focus on getting back to work. Jane grabs her virtual workplace continuity kit pulls out the USB flash drive and inserts it into her children's home PC. Confined to her home and prepared to ride out the storm, she is now connected to her work. She opens an IM session with Kenny, whose address was pre-populated by the system. They chat briefly about the storm and how her children are happy that school is closed. Then they get down to business. Jane brings up the sales deal that has to get through the system. Kenny confirms that the discount was approved. Since Jane is able to get to her applications, she enters the deal into SAP so that Kenny can approve it before fiscal end. She signs off of SAP and gets back to her family's needs. Jane uses the virtual workplace continuity message board to see if anyone knows of a convenience store within two miles of her house that still has milk in stock. She also checks out the documents from HR, showing where to get supplies and listing other safety resources. Kenny gets an IM from his manager asking him to call her. By leveraging the soft phone capabilities and virtual workplace continuity to reach his manager, Kenny bypasses the heavy cell phone traffic. It turns out that she was stranded at an airport hotel while on business travel, when flights were canceled due to the hurricane. But by using virtual workplace continuity, she was able to send an IM to him. 9.30 a.m. John is feeling a lot of relief. All 537 Florida employees are officially accounted for. The impacts of the storm are going to limit travel, so he exchanges emails with the VP of facilities, recommending that the office remain closed for two more days. Since employees are connected and able to function remotely for an extended period of time with Acme's newly implemented workforce continuity solution, this is not a problem. 